Guys, look at that! Like, that was one... Oh, wow. Hello, my loves! Welcome back to KNY. If you guys are new here, my name is Yulia. Make sure you guys subscribe before doing anything else. Also, leave a like on this video if you guys enjoyed the video, enjoyed the review, and enjoyed these hairstyles. So, as you guys can tell by the title of today's video, we are going to be testing out and trying out and reviewing and doing a first impressions on the Tymo Sway, which is their very new hair straightener. And I'm very excited to try this out. I've been meaning to get a new hair straightener. So, I'm very, very excited to show you guys how this one works, see if it's worth it. And we're just gonna get right into it. At the end of this video, we are also going to do three easy spring hairstyles that you can style with your straight hair. If you guys end up using the Tymo Sway Hair Straightener and the other straightener, just so you guys can get some ideas of some new hairstyles for the spring and summer season. We're gonna do a very short review. They're not gonna be as long as my other videos. If you guys haven't seen any of my other hair reviews for Tymo or for any other hair products, I will leave them in the description below. So make sure you guys check those out if you're interested. But we're gonna do a very short review of the straightener. We're gonna get to the point see how this thing works and open her up and then we'll get right into the hairstyles okay so I obviously haven't even opened the box yet I wanted to do this fully on camera so you guys can get the full review and the full unboxing and full first impressions should have done that part earlier okay so we're just gonna open up the box and there we have it so it comes with the glove, it comes with two hair clips, which is going to be great because I have a lot of hair on my head right now, and it's a little bit too long, <laughs> and it's very frizzy and wavy and just like a bird's nest today. So if this straightener does the trick, I will be very impressed. And then it obviously comes with a straightener. This is such a cute color. I already see that it's pink. It comes with the directions as well. I think we know how to use a straightener, so I think I think we'll be okay. But let's just. Open this bad guy up. I love how it comes with a little heat protecting ever on it, which is great, especially because I always, always pack my straightener right after I straighten my hair, especially if I'm like going on a trip. Not at the moment. But if I am and I'm packing it in a suitcase, this is very helpful because it's like it's hot and it can obviously burn anything else that's in my suitcase. So this is a great idea. And then it's a cute little straightener. It's pink. I love it. This makes me so happy. Love, love, love. So we're just gonna go and plug her in. I literally just plugged her in and she's already heating up and she also made such a cute noise. It was like a did it! I'll try to get it on camera for you guys. It was so cute. She is already heating up. The temperature is rising, which is great. On the inside, it obviously just has the two buttons to either lower your temperature or make it higher. And I do believe this goes up to 450, which is great. And I've never had a straight hair straightener that makes noise. But it is currently set to 450. Did you guys hear that? And I think it's ready to use. So as soon as this stops flashing, it's ready to use. That was literally like two seconds. That's the quickest I've ever had a hair straightener warm up ever. And it's so small and so easy to use. I'm very excited. Let's get into it. So I just went ahead and obviously clipped the top part of my hair up. I like to do it this way just so I can really get every little piece of hair underneath because those are usually the parts that I struggle with straightening. So we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it and I will keep you guys updated. So I'm just gonna brush my hair out so that it's all not tangled. Technical difficulties. Okay, I'm literally just gonna go for it guys. We're gonna put in some music and then I will keep you updated with the results and how it's going. first strand is done that was obviously great that took probably two um, strokes fully to get it all straight and then I just have to touch up the bottom as well I do like to use a hairbrush when I'm straightening my hair just because I find that it really glides really well and it does get every little piece especially the bottom which like I said I always struggle with so that was great that's the first first part when winter is freezing and trees start to bold. Sitting alone in a room that's just filled with my soul And so I came to this place I'm looking for a familiar Guys, I just saw that my hair at the bottom was so straight and I'm so impressed Look at that Maybe it's just me, but I always have an issue with my bottom And it straightened it so nicely and I didn't even do any touch-ups yet like Look at that bounce. 
Okay, impressed already. <laughs> I'm gonna do some touch-ups just on the back and stuff. As you can tell, I have some little curls, and then we'll talk soon. Your face and that's when I saw you. Okay, guys, that was amazing. That was the quickest I've ever gone through like my entire half bottom layer. That was so quick, and it looks so good. I would usually have to go in and do some touch-ups, but I don't even need to. It's just like so nice and straight. Wow. Okay, uh, we're gonna do this side, and then yeah, very impressed already. So happy. <laughs> You guys can't tell, but these things are very sharp, so every time I touch it, it like... Okay, anyway, back to the hair! Guys, look at that! Like, that was one... Oh, wow. Maybe I've just been using bad straighteners my whole life, but this thing works like magic. Cause you don't know me and I don't know you, but it breaks my heart. You looking so blue on the last hour. Okay, I think we're done. Guys, look how amazing that looks. Wow. My hair doesn't even look as dead as it really is. It's very dead. I haven't had a haircut in a very long time due to quarantine. But it looks very healthy, very bouncy, very straight. I'm very impressed right now. How many times can I say the word very? Anyway, happy. We're gonna finish up the top half. And then we're gonna get into the hairstyles. I'm so excited because they're actually gonna look so good now. Like, they usually have like waves and random sections in my hair. But with the strainer, there is nothing! Wow, obsessed. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna finish up this craziness. I just clipped my straight hair in the back and we're gonna work on the front pieces now. Okay, I think we're all done. I'm just gonna touch up the back because that's where I always have my crazy little curlies. But it also did an amazing job with my baby hairs, which I'm very, very impressed with. I have a lot of baby hair and it's really annoying because it looks like really bad bangs or something. So my hair is honestly looking amazing. I would say, okay. It is, I'm just gonna say it. It looks the best that I've ever seen it straight before. Especially after like hair washing day, my hair is usually nuts. No matter how much I strain it, no matter how much I go over it, it'll still stay very frizzy and just, I'll always miss spots just cause my hair strainers don't really tend to get every little part of my hair. But this one honestly did an amazing job. And I'm so happy that I now have this. Absolutely amazing, looks so good. Let me know what you guys think, but I'm honestly very impressed and I'm very happy that I now have this for my hair. Okay, I just stood up to show you guys the final result. As you can tell, it's very straight, very nice, feels very smooth, which is amazing. And considering the fact that my hair isn't the healthiest it's ever been right now, I'm very impressed with how it left just like the most gorgeous straight look to my hair. So let's get right into the hairstyles for spring. We're gonna try to recreate some inspo photos that I'm gonna have up all around the screen. This is kind of honestly my hairstyle that I wear every single time. 
that I don't want to do my hair and I just want to leave it straight but still want to make it look a little bit cuter than just you know leaving it out for the day this definitely goes great with a lot of my outfits i don't know i feel like it definitely adds something else definitely such a cute spring summer vibe and you guys have seen this hairstyle if you follow me on instagram or you follow me on any other social media platforms if you're not by the way my instagram will be right here and my tiktok will be right here um i do this hairstyle a lot especially when i have dirtier hair so it's not completely freshly washed and it just looks good and feels good and makes you look a little bit more put together than you might feel that day which i love very simple i'm gonna leave my photos of me wearing that hairstyle here so literally all you're gonna need is two hair ties and a brush i have one here and then i have this one as well it looks kind of gross i'm gonna show it from far away <laughs> um there's a lot of hairspray in it but just to get like that sleek up do so i'm just gonna section my little bangs i don't even know what these are anymore they're like too long to be bangs but they're still here thriving so i'm just gonna section those off and tie them up so that they don't interfere you guys don't have to do this step i choose to do it just because i feel like they frame my face a little bit when i have them on the side i look ridiculous so the first thing you're going to do is obviously give yourself a middle part or you can do a little bit of a side part whatever works for you and then you're just going to section half of your hair off and you're just going to literally put it up as if it was a pigtail but it's kind of a half up half down you know little moment which i love and then if i have any little baby hairs i will just try to brush them all up and brush through my hair and then all you're gonna do is just tie it up and now we're going to do my other half same thing section brush it up and then simply just tie it this stroke of luck the guy just messed up and gave now you totally can take hairspray like as you can tell i have some flyaways there and kind of you know make sure everything is sleek back i honestly don't really care i don't mind if i have any like little flyaways especially in the back and that's literally it make sure you get it a little bit more symmetrical you know more than i did but it's very cute and then i'll just take these pieces out and have them frame my face but i honestly love this look it does take your hair out of your face which is nice because you're not constantly having your hair flying everywhere which is cute and then i'll just go in and do some little touch-ups with the tymo straightener and just get the ends looking all good fix my little bangs and that's it that is our first look very cute and easy and i love it for just like an everyday little cute hairstyle to add to your straight hair look you can. So for the next look, we're going to be doing the bubble pony, which you guys have probably seen all over Pinterest. I personally have and I fell in love. So I wanted to recreate it and there's so many different ways to do this. There's like a half up, half down where you can do the bubble pony on top. Obviously, I will insert some inspo photos on the screen, but you can also do it two ways. So you can kind of do it high up and then have two little bubble ponies or you can do the lower ones as well. I prefer to just do the one sleek back. All you need is a bunch of hair ties. I usually try to use five to six for this just because I really like to get the bubble pony very tight. All you're going to do is brush your hair like I do all the time. I will leave my baby hairs up front, tie them up just so I have something to frame my face. In your feet and I so what you're gonna do is brush your hair back. You are going to take your first hair tie and literally tie it as if you were dyeing your hair. I know, very difficult. Just tie it as high or as low as you would like. I just prefer mine to be more lower just because it kind of makes my hair look longer, which is nice. And that's it. Make sure it's tight and secure that's the first part then we're going to be taking our next hair tie and literally tying it again how easy guys <laughs> so all you're going to be doing is finding another place and just tying it there again and that was probably a little bit too much room so we're going to tighten it a little and then you're just going to kind of take your hair out Play with it around, make sure you can create kind of like a bubble pony effect, if that makes any sense. So just from the side, literally leave a little bit of space and then tie your hair tight there. It's very easy, this is such a simple thing, but it's great for a little bit of 
definition and that's it and then you just keep going all the way down obviously we're just gonna finish this up you are going to take your very last elastic tie it up and then kind of take your little bubble out a little bit so that it creates a little bit of depth to the hair and then i'm going to take out my bangs just because i prefer it to kind of shape my face like i already mentioned and that's it it's so cute it's so simple but honestly it looks so good you can take them as thick out as you want if you want more of like you know a bubble moment in your outfit but i just think it looks so so cute and there's so many ways to wear this it looks so classy so elegant but it took like five seconds to do which i love so that is our second little hairstyle just smile at you So for the third look, we are also going to be incorporating the whole bubble pony trend, but we're going to make it a little bit cuter and more unique, I guess. So all you're going to do is part your hair. You will see all of the inspo right here on the screen. You are going to need quite a lot of hair ties for this, so just be prepared. And I like to take more of the back. You can obviously take it as like far up as you want. I like to leave these little front pieces out. And then I'm just going to make my first little pony. Very simple. You can definitely do a better job of parting your hair than I did. I <laughs> kind of did it freehand and just tie that. And then we're going to be using the same exact effect that we used for the last hairstyle. We're going to be taking it and then tying it down all the way until you get to the very bottom. And then you are just going to loosen up the bubbles to create that bubble pony effect. I think this is so cute because it's like such a cute little different little bubble pony look so you're gonna do that and then you're just going to take these little parts out like we did before So I just finished up. I should have taken a little bit more hair, but you guys get the vibe. You just have these little bubble ponies on each side. I think it's really cute and adds a little bit of funk to your hair, which is nice. So that is our third look. I definitely could have done a better job. I'm kind of disappointed, but it's okay. It's still cute. That is all for today's video. I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for your endless support. It honestly means the world and more than you guys will ever know. If you guys are interested in the Tymo hair straightener, you guys can use the link in the description to shop let me know if you guys get it and let me know if you guys like it you guys can use my code elia25 which will be up on the screen you guys can shop it on their website or on their amazon site whichever you choose if you want me to try out any other hair tools or any other hair products do let me know in the comment section below do not forget to leave a like on this video and you can share it if you'd like turn your post notifications subscribe do not forget to do that and i will see you guys soon for another video i love you guys Mwah.